Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Carly. And I'm Edge. And today we're watching Freya in episode 22. Really enjoyed last episode. One, it was probably one of my favorites. We had the conclusion of the first exam. Yeah. Major exam. Mm -hmm. Freya and Genkin had a little bit of a mage off. Um, it was a quick fight. <laughs> it was still cool nonetheless. The animation was really good. Freya even had time afterwards to back her girls up. That was probably the highlight of the episode, that wasn't it? was amazing. I loved it so much. Yeah, opening up the barrier so then the so then the rain could come through. Mm -hmm. Then they were able to uh, use the, the water magic. Really sick, to be honest. And six teams are through now. So 18 mages are going to fight it off in the second exam. I, I think these exams might actually just take us to the end of the season. Um, oh, yeah. yeah. Which the good news about that is it means we're going to get more free run. Probably an, another few seasons. Um, yeah, I thought you meant more Freya in the character. I'm like, we've literally just oh, been no, getting no, no. Freya in this whole time. No, I mean the, the yes. series. Yeah. Yes. Because the journey is a lot longer than that, isn't it? So there's that to look forward to. So in this episode, I don't know if we're going to like have a little bit of a break or if we're going to go straight into the next exam. Hopefully Freya and Fern can touch base with uh, Stark, though, who's an alcoholic. Oh, dear. If you guys are interested in signing up to our Patreon, you'll gain three to four weeks of early access to our current shows, and you'll also find reactions that are exclusive to our Patreon. If you're interested, you can check out our link in the description below. But anyway, should we get into it? Let's get into it. most of the parties. Yeah. I was happy they got through. Yeah, I guess they only showed the parties that were actually going to make it. Two of the parties we didn't really know too well, though. Yeah. Future enemies. Dark and Fern. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Okay, now hug. already begun. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Juice! That's so cute. She tries to mother them. The fern is a pain in the ass. <laughs> I do love her, but she's a pain in the ass. <laughs> Damn it, Himmel. Don't say that name. Of course, it's still there. That's so nice. Oh, it's going to be the same restaurant. Yeah, they're going to meet each other there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, donut, donuts are too good to share. I reckon Freeran knows Richter's grandmother. Oh! I'm gonna say he deserved that. <laughs> you bell. Yeah, you bell. Okay. I shipped them. What? Yeah. Like, she's so, like, I don't know, enthusiastic, and he's not. Kind of works. <laughs> Does she not want to verse him in the next test or something? I think she's flirting. Oh, she wants the, the cloning ability. Yeah, 
You can see the spell, her spell is a little bit more rough, right? Than oh. the original guy that used it. It's not as... Like perfect circles. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, you're kind of right. Maybe. <laughs> there, it didn't look mm. shaped as well as the other one. I don't know. <laughs> you're telling me they're not in love? They're in as much love as Stark and Fern right now. Kylie, you got to stop with that. Fark is fine. It might be a sinking ship. That was a pun. He said you got a good eye, Denkin. <laughs> that was a pun. <laughs> Sit at the same table. I'd like that. <laughs> yeah. The <laughs> Fern loves her food. Yeah. Massive omelette. <laughs> that's my sort of me. Yeah, that. That's me. Yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, you're the the plate full of meat. Yeah. Himmel. Oh, Himmel's got the same meal as Stark. Oh. What? What? Freyren must have told Stark to order the same thing as Himmel. You know, she loves Himmel. Do you get what I'm saying? The no. omelette is representation of him. No, I think Stark just ordered it. You think she recommended it? I was just going to shut down my theories. <laughs> you might be right. Look how healthy Haita is eating. Yeah. I think that's why Fern always gets like the sweets. really unhealthy sweets. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We love to see the confidence. <laughs> so Free Run can always come and, and eat here? Yes, and I'm right. She 100% recommended okay. it to Stark. Because she loves him, and she doesn't know it. I'm just saying, like, Freeran's her. meal would cost $13,000 nowadays. <laughs> yeah. This is wholesome. She's like me. Like, I, I kind of, if it ain't broke, don't fix it and just get the same meal over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute. cute. I love uh, it. It's so cute. Even these two. <laughs> <laughs> She's on a sugar high, man. She just gets a bit hangry. That's fine. <laughs> oh, no. They need more cash. Oh, my gosh, man. Yeah. Dark's been... Taking care of himself. Yeah, I guess. She's like, yep, I know that guy. <laughs> well, she... she just said, who was that old man? Oh. <laughs> oh, no, what now? About the money? Yeah, I can relate to that. It's exactly oh, the what, silent treatment. Exactly what you do. Where's sign? <laughs> <laughs> Wise. Oh shit, man! She really has that sweet tooth. She needs comfort food. Really I said that! Like me. <laughs> I literally said she's a pain in the ass. <laughs> Don't tell me that's Gorilla. Surely not, no. What, what in the world is he doing? I don't know, they obviously want to hire a third person for something. 
Oh my gosh, she's looking so cute. <laughs> <laughs> must be a hard life. <laughs> yep. Well, yeah, she's got it rough. <laughs> she's gonna slap her. Yeah, I bloody knew it, man! I, I knew didn't it. see that coming. I knew actually. it. There was too much affection going on there. <laughs> she wants it all. Oh no. <sighs> <laughs> oh, Fern, man. Just that nice slice of life. Slice of life episode. Yeah. I love it. I can't get my words out. Oh, I did not see this yeah, coming. Shit. This always happens to him. Are oh, they gonna steal him? <laughs> oh, Stark! <laughs> He's like sobbing, the poor guy. Mm. What she's been doing ever since. That's facts from him. I really like what he said there. Mm. He didn't sugarcoat it with any shit like, I'm just trying to be a good person to help yeah. others. Like, he also said that he does it for himself, too. <laughs> well, we now know how to manipulate Fern. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no. She has it's the funniest happened. expressions. Oh right, that's the That's why the episode is called that. What the heck? Oh, that was rude. Okay. Yeah, she's a bit of a loose unit. I haven't figured her out just yet. Mm. Oh dear. I called the ship. I called it straight away, man. <gasps> I like her style. <laughs> oh no. No one has passed it before. So this second exam should be pretty interesting considering Senze, her name is, says she's a pacifist, unlike the other dude. Yeah. So she doesn't really like war and violence and all of that, right? So why is it so hard to pass? It's going to be interesting. It's yeah. going to be very interesting. No one has passed any of her tests that she's procured or whatever, ever. So, okay, it's probably a more intellectual element rather than physical, like, you know, fighting and... Um, Maybe. It's like some sort of maze. That'd be cool. Or like a um squid game moment. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be a squid game. Yeah, moment. I don't know. But I'm enjoying this arc more than I thought I would. I remember when we heard that she has to take an exam, we kind of brushed it off like... Yeah, <laughs> let's just get past this quick so we can move on. Yeah, but this has been a really good pit stop, I mm. think. Um, yeah. And we got a slice of life episode and it was quite nice and wholesome to see all the characters kind of get along with each other. I, had, I loved it. I had to look up Werbel. I had heard his voice somewhere and it was eating me up during the episodes and distracting me. I just looked it up. It's Jean from Attack on Titan. I'm sorry. I was never going to recognize that. No, I that. definitely recognized it because Jean was one of my favorite characters, but I couldn't like put my Yeah. I couldn't put my finger on it. But yeah, he was recruiting warriors and then you had Land and Ubel doing some weird shit. Um <laughs> Floating in a dangerous way, I'm gonna say. And then you had Fern was a 
She was a pain in the ass, wasn't she? Yeah, she was a bit moody this episode. She was very moody. I think, like, she loves sugar and everything, but it doesn't agree with her. (laughs) No, I think she just comes off that sugar high too hard. Yeah, I see a lot of myself in Fern, and I'm sure you do as well. I do. She crashes and burns real hard. Yeah. To the point where she's even scared her friends off. Yep. The almighty and all-powerful Freerin is scared (laughs) of Fern and nothing else. Denkin, again, was... Splendid, and he's kind of treating these two like his kids. That's so cute. Which he probably wanted to have with his wife, who's dead. They always got to put that shit in. We got a Himmel flashback. Always nice to see he was eating with Freerun, same sort of meal that they were sharing. That yeah. kind of that filled Freerun with a, a nice fuzzy nostalgic feeling. Mm-hmm. That's why she said it tasted better because she's understanding. Like I feel sorry for the for her right as a character because. Those people meant so much to her, but she didn't know how to yeah. deal with that at the time. Yeah, exactly. It, I really liked how it came a bit full circle when she was sitting down with the girls and she could see how like happy they all were. And yeah. she just had that look of satisfaction on her face. That face reminded me of the face that like our cat has when she's at peace. <laughs> like, you know, just like yeah. joy in its purest rawest form well it, it's nice because her taking on himmel's mantle is is actually making her love those those three ever more you know high to eisen and himmel yeah um even though a few of them are gone and she doesn't really she doesn't see eisen really um at all so yeah this journey has been a way for her to understand them better get to know them better even though they're not there and grow fondness towards those memories now, I think the next exam is going to be really, really interesting because I, I, I do wonder if they're going to pin any of these characters against each other like that have been set up in the last few episodes. So you've got Kane and Loween. Okay. Yep. They're like in love with each other and they might have to battle each other at some point. Um, I like just we don't know what the exam is going to be, but I, I have a feeling they're going to put some of these characters against each other to test them and, and yeah. see how, like, Fern and Freerun, I'm sure, will happen at some point. Oh, no. I don't know. Well, I'm not sure. A question I have about the exams is, can only one person win? Like, is there only one winner at the end? No, I, I'd imagine that this one will probably end with, like, less than 10, maybe, contestants, because there's a third exam after this. But I no mean, one... like, after the third exam, can there only be one winner? Good question, Carly. It's probably a detail that we shouldn't have forgotten, but No. No, no, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure just whoever passes them, yeah, whoever passes them. But I, I do imagine that, like, after this one, there'll probably be uh, a lot less. Yeah, there'll be probably half, if not less, less than that. I yep, think less. Probably even less, considering no one's passed it before. I'm quite confident in Freerun, obviously. Like, she was able to yeah. break down the dome last episode, and I mean, the guy, the tea drinking guy, that seems like it's all he's good for. <laughs> um, he was surprised, like he was shocked. Yeah, but. Now that Senze has seen what... Does she know that Freerun did it? Yeah. She could probably assume as much anyway. Yeah, she was she the one... Yeah, yeah, because they were both asking, like, who is that? What's yeah. her name? So she's probably really cooked something up for this test, yeah. knowing that Freerun's involved. I reckon she probably takes pride in the fact that no one has passed her test. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what to I expect. I was going to say, maybe they bring back, like, the imitation magic again. Like, to test... Because that's a way to test each individual person. Oh, right. However, like, we already saw Freerun and Fern body that, Yeah, so. yeah. I don't yeah. think that'd be enough of a challenge. No. Um, I'm pretty excited for the for the rest of this arc. It's been more enjoyable than I thought. Mm. Thank you so much for watching our reaction. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. It would really help us out. For early access to all of our reactions, you can support us on Patreon if you'd like. And, yeah, thank you so much again. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.